Hi guys and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, for those of you that may not know, on my channel you can find some trash to treasures, DIYs, look for less, thrift flips, trash flips, um, home decor, a little bit of cooking, um, basically anything that has to do with the home and home decor. Um, for today's video, I am participating in a challenge hosted by Yami from the Latina Next Door. She is one amazing lady. Please make sure you check out her channel. She has some amazing videos, um, DIYs, look for lesses, um, Dollar Tree DIYs, anything home decor basically. Um, she is hosting this challenge, co-hosting this challenge with Leonette from DIY Beauty on Purpose. Um, Leanne F is also one talented lady, so make sure you check out her channels. I will have the link for both ladies um, in my description. For today's video, we had to create an item that we found somewhere on a high end in a high end store or online, and we created for a fraction of the cost. So here's what I've done. For my video, um, I will be using some wood to create a stovetop tray cover or a um, noodle board. For the noodle board I bought three pieces of these furring strips. They were $2.47 each at Home Depot and they are eight foot long pieces so super cheap. My husband cut the, them into seven shorter pieces and two long pieces. Seven pieces were 31 and a half inch and then Two pieces were 24 inches, and then from a different board, which you'll see um, later on, uh, another two pieces at 24 inches. So these boards can be rough in spots, so I just took my sander, my hand sander, and I just sanded out the rough spots um, on both sides. I also sanded off the numbers that were at the front of the boards because I was choosing to use that side as it was a little bit smoother than the other side. Um, when you're picking them up at Home Depot, you want to make sure that you're picking nice ones because I think um, they're used for building, um, so like for con for construction. So it doesn't really matter if they're smooth or not. They're not made for like home decor and DIY. So some of them are really rough looking. So just pick nice ones that are nice and straight and um, not too too bad. So I tried to pick the nicest ones that I could, but even so, I still had to sand them down. A little bit so they would look um, smoother so they'd be a bit smoother once I sanded down um, both sides as well as um, the edges I am going to I was deciding whether I should do stain or wax and I decided I was going to do the Annie Sloan dark wax and I'm so glad I made this decision it turned out amazing so I am using the just a wax brush from Lowe's I believe and applying the wax liberally and I am wiping it off um, not quite right away I'm letting it sit for a little bit but I am not letting it sit forever otherwise it'll be this dark and I didn't want it to be quite that dark so you know I did about two boards and then I wiped it off um, and you can put as much so this really depends on you how dark you want it whether if you want it really dark so leave it on a little bit longer um, you don't even have to then take off the excess wax, but make sure you don't put on, don't cake on too much, otherwise it'll take forever to dry. Um, but again, it's really up to you. The boards won't be exactly the same, which I was okay with. I wanted that weathered look because I am doing the farmhouse type of style. So when you're applying, you don't have to go up and down. You just, you know, you do circles, just whichever way, mishmash, and that'll um, make it look that much better.
once I waxed and wiped them off um, and got the color that I wanted, I let them dry and then I um, glued them for about 30 minutes. So this is just um, framing lumber. I had originally um, spray painted this with a black stainless steel from Rustoleum because I was using it for a different project. But we wound up not going that way. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Annie Sloan wax to these. And um, this is super cheap. You can get an 8 foot piece for a dollar eighty at Home Depot. So really, really cheap. Um, if you had to buy it, I'm lucky I had it at home. So I don't need to worry about it. Um, and I'm using this for the feet of the, the piece because I have a gas stove and the knobs are a little bit higher so I do I want to make sure that it's not sitting right on the knobs uh, for a few reasons if we put something heavy on top so that way it doesn't crack the knobs for some reason and also so um, if we put something on it, it doesn't happen to turn the knobs or something and again I applied the wax the same way I put on as much as I thought and then I um wiped it off. I think I wiped it off a bit too soon so I had to reapply to get it to be a little bit darker and to match the other piece but um, even if they like I said even if they didn't match perfectly I wanted them to have a little bit of a distinction between one another because I wanted that farmhouse barn board rustic weathered kind of look so I wasn't too too concerned. I left that to dry and moved on to my handles. So I just have these handles that I'm going to spray paint in black. I just have a Rust-Oleum black matte paint left over from something my husband was doing. So that's the paint that I'm using. I didn't have any more of the um, Rust-Oleum um, hammered black stainless steel so I'm just going to use this one because I really like the finish on it. So I got these handles, um, I actually have four of them. I got them from the thrift store and they were a dollar for four, which is super cheap. So they wound up being a quarter each. So great deal. But I guess if you had to buy them, you can buy some handles for about a dollar each. Not the end of the world. I placed my handles and I measured um, that I had um, the same amount on each side of space so that the bo the handles would be in the middle and they would match both sides of the tray. Now I put a little mark with my pencil as well as an indent with the screw just to make sure that I got the right spot. Um, you just want to be careful so that you don't have to fill in holes or anything like that. Once that was done I moved on to gluing. Now I glued these boards using um, this glue right here. Unfortunately, I didn't press record, so I just put glue on each board and I put them together. Then I used these little clamps to clamp down each board, um, like the two boards together. I just, unfortunately, it was a pack of mixed sizes, so some of the little ones didn't do the best job. But what I did was, once they dried for about 20 minutes, I flipped um, so I, like, I took the, the big ones and I put them where the small ones were and vice versa to get a better hold. Now I am going to be drilling this, so I'm not too worried. Because the boards weren't perfectly straight, um, some spots the glue wasn't holding anyway, but I figured it would be a little bit to make this part easier. So in this part, my husband is actually helping me out, and he's pre-drilling holes into each of the boards so that he can put the feet in, um, the little board that's going to be the feet. Um, so I wound up actually doing the other side of the board as well. I wound up sanding it and um, putting some of the wax on just because uh, I didn't want the black to show. So then he screwed in, he pre-drilled the holes and he screwed in each onto each board. And then he added the handle part on top and screw that in as well. Now he did that from the bottom so that you wouldn't see the screws from the top because I didn't want the screws showing. He was a great sport for helping me out. I was just afraid of um, maybe breaking the board or something like that if I was drilling it. So as you can see I left the screws up a bit from the handles because I was going to be uh, screwing everything in together. I just wanted to have that placeholder so that when he did go screw in 
it would be in the spot that I wanted it to be. So just to remind you of what my inspiration looked like, it was $240 from Wayfair, a different stain, but here is my piece. I love my stain color a lot more. Um, I think it's more farmhouse, which is what I was going for. It covers my stovetop perfectly. I think the wax color turned out to be like a stain that I don't know that I would have been able to replicate. I really, really love the way it turned out. Those um, waxes from Annie Sloan, the dark wax and the black wax do wonders on bare wood. So do try it out if you haven't tried it out because you'll be super impressed with the results. So if you liked this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, make sure you check out the videos that are recommended for you at the end. Also pop over on my description, in my description, you'll see um, Yami's channel, the Latina Next Door, as well as um, Leon Epps channel. So make sure you check both of theirs out. Check out the playlist. You'll be super inspired where I'll go look for less, as I know I always am. And thanks for stopping by. Have an excellent day. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Stay safe.